I am Wyatt Warneth, a real lifeguard from Lifeguard TV. What's up? I like right. the way he said yeah. he emphasizes the real because yeah. we're yeah, phonies. Yeah. We're just movie <sighs> lifeguards. Well, I, I'm impressed, guys. Thank you. Um, if my life was only so glamorous. <laughs> but I, one of the things that I, I want to show you is uh, for Baywatch 2, the next generation in tubes. Oh, it's a hybrid can? between the can and the tube that's oh. flexible. Can I hold it? Wow. Absolutely. I want you guys to show Try it out. Oh, it's made that's out of nice. The what guy invented it. Very invented what what are the see? benefits of this it over smell good? Yes, either the can or the tube? Did you do a lot of swimming with the can? Um, we, that's good. we did. It will hit you. We did, uh, yeah. It will yeah, bounce off. Like, it hurts right. as hard. So this won't knock yes, your teeth yeah. out. Yeah, this can is a little hard. It is a lot hard. Yeah. You know, when the can was invented, it was designed for defense. Because, you know, when you swim up to someone and they're getting panicked, we would punch them with it or really? keep them back so you could get them out. Get out of here. So this is the more modern, softer touch. Less painful if it comes to blows. What's it called? It's called the Life Tube. Where do you, life where tube. Do you work? What's your beach? Uh, Coco Beach. Where is In? In Brevard County, which is south of Daytona. Okay. We have nice. uh, 72 miles of oceanfront and 100 lifeguards. Wow. Here you go. I actually your life tube back. Thank you for well, thank you. Thank you Are for you the Mitch inspo. Buchanan I, of Coco thank Beach? Thank you. I really, I like, I appreciate that. Yes, I'm a retired. I retired. Gotcha. But I was Mitch. Wow. And, and, we, and, I, and my favorite kid on the block was my Ron. No way. Yeah. My Ron. Oh, yeah. Dude, I was like, there it is, because everybody's always working out and, and chiseled abs and all, and here comes Ronnie. I'm like, man, this is Just real like, Baywatch. Yeah. Gung-ho and ready for the job. Just ready for down. action. Yeah, He's are you down good to at work. tinkering and fixing stuff too? Though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, yeah. And you were it, man. When I saw that, I was like, man, they really are touching on some that people they missed in the in the TV series. Yeah. Thank you yeah. for saying that. Nice. Oh, cool. And in your, in your slow mo, how's that? It's it's slow. Yeah, she did good. <laughs> yeah, she's got it down. Was there really an attraction between you guys? Because that kind of came out real genuine. We're just good friends, yeah. you know? Yeah. And we're like, we have good on-screen and off-screen chemistry, and it's just uh, super fun to hang out. Kind of we fun. met each other before we started filming. We were like, let's get, let's get together and sort of figure out some of our scenes. And we were like, this is going to work. We're going to be great friends, yeah. which that was, is great. That was terrific. How could you not, right? Yeah, yeah. I know. It's, it's, it's not hard. Right, no, you had an easy part. <laughs> and you know... What was happening with what was going on with you is something that's very real. Whoever you know tapped that in and your role, oh, you the way the you whip handled that. Earth there. Well, you were you were being replaced and not intending, right? You wanted the position, and you were going oh, after the position. Oh, sure, yeah. of course. When when Mitch and I'm overlooked for uh, exactly, and that show. happens. That's I'm sure that real. happens all the time. I mean, in any industry, right? In any career, for sure. Yeah. So you handled that just like you know we would have had to deal with it in real life and made it real genuine. Good. Thank you. you know, a lot of the stuff that was going on, obviously, you know. I wish my life was that way. <laughs> we do a lot of stuff that's you know, similar. I mean, our, our most basic day is looking for missing kids. But when it happens, I mean, you know, they say it's 99% boredom and sheer terror, 1%. Well, so, yeah, which in, in our movie, it was it's the other, the other way around. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Right? yeah. How much training did you guys do? Did you actually have to take oh, a yeah. like our test? Well, Kelly. Yeah, and I want to give a shout out actually because I, I shadowed a lifeguard in Malibu, this guy named Alex, and he was so sweet. He took me out in the cruiser, showed me the ropes, took me to the guard houses, just w walked me through the life of a lifeguard. He did the you know and, uh, prerequisite candlelight <laughs> dinner, uh, which every lifeguard has to do. Nearly. <laughs> so thank you, Alex. I mean, I, I mean, I thanked him, uh, I, but to the world, thank you. Well, that's very nice. I want everyone to know. Thank you, Alex. I'm sure he's smiling about that. Yeah. And awesome. on the day when we had to do the course, the the, the, with the dunes, course. the obstacle yeah, yeah. course, those were all yeah. were all lifeguards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I, uh, I was part of that to a degree. No, come on. Uh, that was in Tybee, and I'm a part-time lifeguard in Tybee. Get out oh, of wild. Here. So oh, you guys so you were the talk well. of the town still are. Yeah. yeah. Especially yeah. since the movie's coming out. Yeah. Yeah. It was a real pleasure, guys. You Thanks too. so much for taking the time and representing the lifeguards. Of course, brother. For being our We made you proud. We're going to have a lot of recruits this year. Great. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Yeah, out of nowhere, it's like just boom. And then you go. It's yeah. crazy. You like you're, you're posted up, and then all of a sudden. Take that. Take that.